Now, as I said, the biggest thing about this is this is gonna be set up the way we want it. No one's gonna dictate how we do our business ever again, hopefully. Uh, this is literally what I plan on doing till the day I die is reselling in some way, shape, or form. It's a viable business. If it wasn't for reselling, I wouldn't have this building, the house, and everything else in the first place. Well, we're back in the eBay building here. I'm just putting stuff together. One good thing about being a reseller and owning your own building for your eBay business or whatever business you're running is if you own it, you can set it up how you want. You've got the freedom to set up a shelf or anything you want. You can nail into the walls, you can customize it, you can add a second floor like we are going to do in here. Right about where you see that light, we're actually going to add a floor there. And that will give us the space to add a whole nother storage area above us. In the center of it, it'll be uh, tall enough to stand up in actually. So there'll be room up there, you can put an office, listers, whatever I want, and I can close it off separate from the main building here so I don't have to pay the high cost of heating and cooling. Everything up there will be in an area that it doesn't matter. And that's the key to stuff like that, is cutting your costs down. We're gonna ditch the uh, fluorescent lights. They're going to be all LEDs because it'll cut the costs probably by 90% or so based on those. We've done wonders with stuff like that. Obviously you can see I've got some more shelves up. I did find Waldo for those looking to find out where's Waldo. This is another one of those pickups here. I have no idea if that's really what I paid for it at this point, might've got it on a discount. I don't even know where I bought it. It's been setting in with so much of our stuff now. I've got a ton of shelves here that haven't even been set up. I've got another stack of these exact same shelves in my garage. So all told, I think I've got 27 of these, I think we counted total. There are Muscle Man shelves, you can get them at Walmart. They're about a hundred bucks on sale right now for those interested. If I can remember, I'll pop a, a link down because I've had some people ask where I got these shelves from. Now, some people say they're not very sturdy. I've had some people complain about these. They're not as good supposedly as the wire racks, but these hold more than the wire racks. And if you ever have a problem with these, the, the particle board not holding the weight, all you gotta do is get a piece of real plywood and put it in there and it solves the whole problem. I've got one I think that we've got records on and I just swapped it out and I haven't had any issues uh, af after that actually. Now as I said, the biggest thing about this is this is gonna be set up the way we want it. No one's gonna dictate how we do our business ever again, hopefully. Uh, this is literally what I plan on doing till the day I die is reselling in some way, shape, or form. It's a viable business. If it wasn't for reselling, I wouldn't have this building, the house, and everything else in the first place. So for us, this, this is it. Um, we're gonna be putting up these big cabinets here for those who have seen them already. Again, there's shelves. I think there's some pegs in a couple of these, but these are all lined. They each have five shelves in them. So you'll see these on the wall. They're gonna be lined up where that blue line is going right across the building here. This is the divider line for how we're going to separate it. On this side, the back side of the actual uh, cabinets is going to be my personal area. You'll see my studio space. I'll have my animation stuff going on in there, our toy lines. Items we don't show to people are also gonna be uh, back here. I don't show a large chunk of what we sell, so we're going to be separating it completely off from the, the stuff that will be openly shared. Again, you gotta have some things that you, you don't share because otherwise people will be pretty much running you out of business. So again, we've got stuff coming on in, getting ready to hook up computers. We'll be digging a trench as well this week to run out the internet cable out here. So we'll have internet access in here. Wi-Fi will be broadcasting here. The only biggest problem is that it's a tin roof and you can't get a cell signal and the Wi-Fi doesn't reach from the house out here. So we'll just run a separate line into here. Um, just pulling out stuff that we've had in inventory. I love anything tin advertisements and here's a nice little rack. It can be mounted on the wall and the whole works. Now, I've had this in inventory for maybe 10 or 15 years and had it been for moving it would have still been sitting somewhere I would have completely forgot about it once again uh, until we pulled it out 
I've just got so much stuff in inventory, it's not even funny that we haven't even touched. We kind of moved on to paper because it's been such a humongous seller for us. It makes us $10,000 plus a month just in paper items that I haven't even messed with a lot of this stuff. But now that we're working our way through stuff, we're gonna be pulling out a lot more stuff and selling all sorts of things that we've had boxed and here in inventory for years, earnest figures and things like that. I've got probably a couple hundred toys in boxes. You already saw the M&M guys, but we've been pulling in uh, other items, vintage frames. I've got a bunch of stained glass lights. There's another one around the corner, just about like that. I'm showing you the Pepsi signs, but we've been pulling in some of the china and plates. I said we had a couple hundred pieces. It's probably closer to 300 pieces between the My Blue Heaven set, which is, this one is My, or Blue Heaven, that's what that one is. And then the other one is by Salem, and it's called North Star. Now, they used the same 1960s color schemes for both sets, and some people mix up the salt and pepper shakers from Blue Heaven with the North Star. So you got to be careful. I got a ton of it, so we're going to pretty much fill the space back here with china until we have cabinets or shelving set up, I should say. So people mix up the coffee cups all the time because there's several different types of coffee cups. The majority of the ones with feet on them go to the Salem North Star. There are many different kinds, though, as I said, so you've got to be very careful. Some of the blues a little slightly different, but that's typical for the 1940s. Here's, I think that's, yeah, you can tell there's some different shapes here. This is more rounded and that's not. And those are different eras from Blue Heaven as well as some versions of the North Star. There's a thousand dollars probably in China plates and stuff sitting right here. And this is just a small portion of what we still have to bring in. So I do mess with China. I'm just very specific. I like the mod mid-century ones because we get the most money for them. They routinely sell for good money every single time we mess with them. Just like these, I picked these up for $10 or $15 from a closed down restaurant quite some time ago. This is real stained glass and I've got a couple of these. At one time I had 10 or 15 of them in various different colors. Now I have some others of these hanging in the house actually, I've got a swag light somewhere also. And I've got a ton of toys. I love slot cars. I grew up with AFX Aurora, Thunder uh, Loop Thrillers. I've got the cars and the whole works. That's a later Tommy version, but Lodge, uh, Cast Iron. I've got a bunch of Lodge stuff around here too. Now we're bringing in obviously boxes. I've got some shelves just set up. Again, as I said, this is all temporary for right now until we get everything the way we want it. Now some shelves we're going to want to be able to access both sides of them so we can pull from both sides. These only take up half of one of these shelves so I can literally double the amount of these on the same shelf and run them back to back. Other shelves will do back to back because there'll only be one direction we'll need to pull from like when these long bins are in here. So I've set up and we've done a little layout of where all the shelves are gonna go. As I said, we've got about 27 shelves. Some are gonna go in the private area. Others will go out here. If you haven't seen these two, let's show you a close up on this. Now all of these had dividers, plexiglass dividers in them just like this. And we actually wanna use it for long display shelves for the backs of our videos and for our personal collections of items. I assumed I'd just be able to unscrew them because these all mount together in one long wall section. Again, there's seven of them. You can see they run all the way down. They're all the, uh, the same. And I figured I could just unscrew them, but it turns out they're all glued and finely detailed as well, all put together to be very solid. So we had to actually hammer those out. Maybe 35 or so percent of the entire weight of this cabinet was the plexiglass. So now this thing's extremely light. So that works out even better for us. So we're just gonna end up hammering these out real quick. Just cut a little slit in them with a glass cutter basically. Just a quick line and then just one good whack with the hammer and they all fall out all the way down. We'll put some trim on the bottom. I'm gonna light them all. You're gonna see them back on the wall over there as I said. 
back where all those totes are you'll see an entire wall lined up there and again it's going to be brought up to the eight foot or so mark so there'll be actually a ceiling in here posts and the whole works now i was going to take this in my my neon sign but we were really running short on time at, at the very end there due to cleaning and storage units we had to deal with so i just brought it here we are going to take it in the first of the week there's a couple more pieces of china. I do buy hand-painted and designer pieces. Uh, you can see it's Noritake pieces here. I do okay with Noritake for those who are curious. It is a good seller for us. These are some uh, Walmart items here. I bought a whole bunch of these. I bought four or five cases of them. These have been selling okay on Amazon. I've sold some on Etsy, and I think we've sold a few on eBay too. I've had them for two or three years. They're out of production and have been for a little while. I don't mind buying something and hanging on to it until it's worth more money. And a perfect example here, I got a bunch of them. There's probably another tote just with those in them or a different version of this as well. Whenever they do the clearance and I can get stuff at 10 cents on the dollar from, from Walmart, which you do find if you use the app and you sort through and the whole works, I grab them, even if there's 50 of them. At the price they are in five or six years, they'll be worth 10 times that again. And we almost always get our money back doing that sort of thing. So I'll buy them every day of the week like that. Now here's another one of my favorite things here. I love Tom Corbett Space Cadet, and I love the painted covers. This is an official Dell Comics four color series comic book. I've got all of the Space Cadet comic books, the original one, the first uh, issue that's got a comic book style cover, as well as all the painted covers for the entire run of all series of Tom Corbett. Big fan of it. I've got the lunchbox somewhere around here too. I've got some of the Marks toy set figures. I do very, very well with those. Mission to Mars, any of those sci-fi ones, I grab up very, very quickly. This one's going to hang in my office. Is That's where it had been hung before this as well. So anyway, that's just a touch on what's going on in here. You'll see some more shelves go up. You'll see some more activity. We've got some casting equipment we've been bringing in because we are going to be recasting. I've got the 3D printer still to set up in here into our private space as well. So things are on the move. It's going to take a few months, but we will get there. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. The car with the brain. The car you program yourself to go where you want, do what you want. Yours is going under the table. It's programmed to come out again. Amaze the Maddox, Chevrolet Astrovet, Buick Century Cruiser, Chrysler Charger, and Ford Mark IV. Amaze the Maddox from Hasbro.